picking up where Kristen left off. Um, go ahead and look across the parking lot. That is um, the Westgate Center. From another angle, Westgate Center. Um, right over here is the highway. And uh, that's the highway that takes us to uh, the city, to downtown Auckland. So it's pretty, uh, it's a pretty handy area to get to. You just drive to the highway ends, and you turn around, and you're in the parking lot. It's a really, really nice place. Lots of stuff here. All right. Um, let's just walk. How about that? X-rays and ultrasounds. Um, it's a pharmacy as well. I've not needed any medical attention yet, so couldn't tell you what's on the inside. I think they had the contact solution I've been looking for. They may come back. All right. You want to know where we go and get food, most of the times, it's countdown. If you notice, on the other corner up at the top, you don't have to zoom in if you can't see it, that's fine. Um, it says open 24 hours, seven days a week. That's practically all the time. So we come here at all hours of the day to get food when we need it. Um, it's a lot cheaper to eat out of the grocery store, as you know, than it is to go out to eat. But it's exceptionally cheaper here to go to the grocery store than it is to go to out to eat. So uh, this place really comes in handy. Another thing, if Kristen were giving this tour, she'd point out because um, you get these, what do you call them? Um, vouchers, maybe? If you spend like $40 in the store, you get a four cents off a liter. You get four cents off a liter um, of petrol. And so right now the prices are a dollar eighty-eight a liter, which is about a quart. A uh, dollar eighty-eight a liter, and we'll get four cents off per liter. So it really comes handy, about a dollar fifty savings. Almost backed into something. About a dollar fifty savings on every tank. One of the things I'll point out here is over here you have a travel agency. Um, if you want to travel around the world, they sell tickets that circumvent the globe. You stop occasionally though. The fuel fill ups and stuff. Um, stationaries. I've not been in there, but they sell books. cents off a liter. That's nice. Okay. A cultural, um, cultural revelation in New Zealand. It's the uh, gourmet pie. Do you ask what a New Zealand food is? It would be the pie. It's they usually call them meat pies, but you just put all the stuff inside them, and you fill it in, the pie, you bake it, it's got a crispy outside, you eat it, your tummy's happy. Some of you will have to come try some New Zealand meat pies. I knew this would come in handy, because it's now raining. There we go. I'll get the camera in underneath it. Yeah. I like Chris to hold the can to hold the umbrella there. We go. I think we'll just wait 
for the rain to end. Down this way, you have, I think, three different banks. They all just sandwich right next to each other. The Westpac Bank is the bank that we bank at. The uh, National Bank is another bank we don't bank at. And then the ANZ Bank is another bank we don't bank with. Over here is another bank that we don't bank with. Um, but the cool thing about this bank is it's always found in a post office. We call them the post shop here. And so at the post office, there are several really cool things that you can do. You can bank, you can send things. I keep getting poked in the eye with the umbrella. Sorry. You can send things, of course, like around the world. You can pay your tickets that you get from the police officers. You can then also pay bills as I get poked again. <laughs> And you can pay bills at the bank, at the post office. It's really cool, all the things you can do at the post office. Over here is uh, Vodafone. And that's where we uh, we get our mobile phone services from. That's where we will also have our home phone and internet through. Um, it's pretty nice to be able to go to one place to get all those things. Over here is a, um, is a video rental place. And um, like on Tuesdays and Thursdays, they have $1 old release movie rental deals. And so if you're ever in the mood for a movie and you want something cheap, it's pretty nice. So you can go in there and buy, uh, assemble it yourself furniture, you can buy plates, you can buy clothing, you can buy CDs, DVDs, deep, uh, DVD players, of course. Um, I'm sure there's a ton of other things that I'm missing, maybe a few tools and all that kind of stuff. But it's a nice all-around store and they have fairly good prices. In fact, they're known as a store where everyone gets a bargain, and I learned that from the commercial. Uh, what you didn't get to see were a few stores on the back side of the warehouse. Um, there are a few outlets back there and there's a few other shops and the insurance shop and um, up on the hill there's a, an auto parts store and then a miter tin which is like uh, maybe Home Depot. Of course a lot of these stores sell 
more things than than their particular trade trademark item would be. And so even at Miter 10, you can buy some dishes and cups and all that kind of stuff. Even though they sell a lot of uh, home improvement items. Um, there's a KFC here. There's a Subway here. Uh, there's a few other things, but the Westgate Center is pretty much one of those places you can go for just about anything. And that's where we go when we need to shop, you can buy extra stuff, you can get some food, fill our tummies. It's a good place.